Two views. Form 48, Notice of Consequences of Disobedience to Court Order, filed on account of the refusal of the State Security Services, to allow U.S. access to our client Mazi Nambikanu. A judicial process towards compelling the Director General of the State Security Service's obedience to the positive order of court, has just been activated. There must be consequences for flouting a court order. It is our right as lawyers, to visit our client wherever he is kept, and that constitutional right has further been fortified by the order made by His Lordship Honorable Justice Nyako, allowing us access to our client Mazi Nambikanu. We shall and must certainly visit and see our client Mazi Nambikanu, otherwise, you let him off the hook and hand him over to us. We are law-abiding citizens and shall be seen at all times, to operate within the ambit slash dictates of law. This is why we are back to explore judicial remedies available to us in the circumstance of this gross violation of a subsisting court order by the Department of State Security Services. I want to appeal to all and sundry, that in as much as we are in charge of this case, we should be given the benefit of doubt, and allowed to take advantage of the law, now tilting in our favor. We have passed through this hurdle in 2015, and successfully but victoriously scaled through. This path is no longer a strange route. We are very much familiar with it. May we use this opportunity to advise those hirelings obviously engaged by the detractors of our client Mazi Nambikanu, to be writing unprintable things on our social media platforms to desist forthwith. We further call on the supporters and lovers of Mazi Nambi Kanu to continue being the law-abiding citizens they have always been. Picture shows President Mohamedou Buhari and other government officials in London. Photo, Aso Rock. This period calls for your understanding and prayers. We have never failed in our duty to act proactively where necessary. Engage in constructive criticism, if you must criticize. It is welcomed. We shall keep on updating the world, as we progress, but be assured that this one too shall definitely pass. We are firmly on ground monitoring every situation as it plays out here, and shall not hesitate to raise alarm where necessary. At Views Exclusive Rights, Edgy for Ifeanyi, Leave Council to Mazi Nambikanu, July 30, 2021. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Nambikanu whereabout, lawyer goes hard on DSS, demands client be let off the hook, handed over to family July 30, 2021. Form 48, Notice of Consequences of Disobedience to Court Order, filed on account of the refusal of the state, Borno employs 1,000 hunters to protect farmers, fight against Boko Haram July 30, 2021. Borno State Governor, Babagana Umara Zulum on Thursday chaired the induction of 1,000 hunters freshly engaged to join existing ones, hush puppy, don't cover up, arrest DCP Abba Kairi now, PDP speaks, describes Mohamedou Buhari as a corrupt, fraud patronizing president July 30, 2021. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, demands a forensic investigation into reports that the United States, U.S., Federal Bureau of Investigation, hush puppy, Femi Fani Coyote defends DCP Abakairi, urges Nigerians not to believe allegation July 30, 2021. A super cop that has risked his life protecting us from kidnappers, murderers and terrorists all these years and that, Nambikanu, we were caged in a small cell, Israeli journalist, two others arrested at Agiti, Anambra State, detained over three weeks narrate ordeals in DSS custody July 30, 2021. Israeli filmmakers leave Nigeria after nearly three weeks in prison. Trio on route to Israel via Turkey and expected to.